So here's what we're doing. For the next 11 weeks, um, we're here to have that conversation that America keeps saying it once, but so far has been a little chicken shit about, right? And we'll also hold your hand through the current craziness we call an election. Man, this has been an extraordinary year. And since the murder of George Floyd, I think, I think a lot more people are attuned to the issues that communities of color have been talking about for years. I mean, it took a global pandemic, no sports, no concerts, and no more Tiger King for white people to finally have the bandwidth to be like, oh my God, did you see what's happening to black people? Yes, yes, we did. So thanks, quarantine, appreciate that. Um, and we'll talk more about the protests and the popo uh, later on in the show. But first, this nigga. He's got to go. Got to go! All right? And I'm, look, I'm not saying that as a partisan liberal, which I am. I'm saying that as a patriotic American who has respect for the presidency, unlike this tawdry low-rent tick fattening itself on America's ass. Okay, so here's my problem. See, in the last election, unfortunately, I predicted Trump was gonna win. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I know. I wasn't trying to be the Negro Nostradamus. I just had this feeling. And I'll tell you why. Okay, when Trump said uh, John McCain wasn't a war hero because he was captured and his poll numbers went up, I was like, what? And then when he got like wild applause for calling Rosie O'Donnell a pig at a presidential debate, I knew we were witnessing something different. I mean, this was not normal. And I doubt giving us Trump is what Jesus would do. Then he won the election, and I was right. Damn it! And ever since, liberals have been clinging to like the delusional hope that something will bring Trump down and break his spell. In the past four years, there have been 1,200 books published about Trump, many of which would tank a normal presidency. And those are just the positive books. The latest presidency ending blockbusters, this Bob Woodward doorstep. And once again, the resistance is peeing their pants with false hope. I knew it, see? Yeah, he downplayed COVID. This is gonna get him, man. I, this is gonna get him. No, it's not. Go clean yourself up. A few days later, it's already fizzling. Not even Bob Woodward is interested in the Bob Woodward book anymore. Because Trumpers don't care. They, they, they don't care, you guys. No matter how many times Trump flaunts his unfitness, they just shrug it off. Middle of a pandemic, this fool goes on TV and basically says, hey, shoot up bleach. And half the country's like, pass the Clorox, man. Come on, right here. Oh, thanks, man. Got to build up my herd mentality. Appreciate that. In fact, they cheer whenever Trump shreds the Constitution. You know why? Because it upsets us. Oh, <laughs> Trump fans love owning the libs, right? Watching liberals get triggered is like MAGA heroin. Or I should say it's the other MAGA heroin. The first one being um, heroin. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to insult all the MAGA meth heads out there. I see you guys too. So I don't know guys, it's another election year, right? And once again, you know, I've had that gnawing dread that Trump's gonna win, or should I say I did, until two weeks ago. And something happened that just felt a little different. The White House is still reeling from this report in the Atlantic magazine that President Trump referred to American soldiers as losers and suckers. President Trump has repeatedly disparaged service members, insulting General Kelly's dead son at his grave on Memorial Day. Suckers for getting killed. Why should I go to that cemetery? It's filled with losers. Trump turned to AIDS and said, that guy is smart. Why did he join the military? What the fuck? What's he thinking? I mean, I know he's stupid, but usually it's at our expense, not his. <gasps> oh my God, oh my God, he has no idea. See, what Trump doesn't understand, because once again, he is incredibly stupid, is that while you can get away with attacking an individual war hero like McCain, Oh, 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 America is not okay with disparaging the troops. Something you'd think he'd know since disrespecting the troops is the high crime that he accused Colin Kaepernick of. Remember, all Colin did was take a respectful knee during a song. 
the commander in fucking chief called those troops losers and suckers. All his life, this morally and financially bankrupt sociopath has displayed contempt for sacrifice and those who engage in it. But because this time it's about the troops, a lot of people who couldn't see it before, I think are seeing it now. Guys, this was the first time in four years that I've dared to feel like a glimmer of hope. I mean, not quite Obama hope and change hope, but more than Jesse Jackson keep hope alive hope. I know, you may say, nah, Larry, that story's already old, too. The country's moved on. You're completely wrong about this. Okay, we'll see. But just remember, I was right the last time. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, urgh, I don't know what it is. My spidey sense is tingling again, you know? This may be that one piece of kryptonite that actually is from Krypton. Right? I know, I'm mixing my comic book metaphors, but I'm excited. <laughs> yeah. And if I'm wrong, See you on the other side of the apocalypse.